I must tell you something else about um, these tent poles. Mm -hmm. I said to Leonard, um, and I've got a photograph here, I said, look, um, where are you putting up these tents? And he said, oh, well, uh, would you care to come and have a look? And so I said, I certainly would. And he took me down a road, I suppose, about a mile away. And we came to a dried up riverbed. And here it is. Now, we walked the two or three hundred yards across this dried up riverbed, somehow clambered up the bank there, and uh, came to a standstill in front of that. So I turned to Leonard, I said, well, and you said to me, well, <laughs> this is it. I said, what? And you said, well, this is where I'm going to start the home. I said, well, here? And he said, yes. And I thought he was absolutely nuts. Because he then went on to say, um, you see, there are two nurses on the way out from England. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. What happened? It really was a very simple thing. Um, we'd had this extraordinary good b bit of luck that the um, Forestry Commission had given us 30 acres of land at a rupee a year. We How were, much is that? Nothing. Well, it was then one and sixpence. It's, mm, um, I see. It's about, um, about the same now. And there were two tremendous problems facing us. One was the mentally retarded. I think of all the needs in India, probably, a uh, home-like uh, place for the mentally retarded is the greatest need of all. And second, there was leprosy. Leprosy is a very great problem in Dehradun. And uh, we were very anxious to provide a home for them. And so the only thing to do was, uh, not really not having the resources, uh, to use tents. Uh, out of the blue, that's another thing I'll never forget, came a gift of $500 from America, from somebody I hadn't known since the war. And in addition to that, I was getting help from Sue. Sue's my wife, but we weren't married then. Yes. She was coming out to help me, and so there we were. But, Leonard, that's all very well, there you were, but... Um... Well, you take one thing at a time. We had to cut down the... Uh, the undergrowth so that there was room to put the tents. There were the leprosy patients or leprosy sufferers who had, some of them had use of their hands, give them some axes and give them some knives and they were only too willing to chop it down what was going to be their home. And up went the tents? They lived in the tents and they cut down the bushes more or less at the same time. How long before it looked more or less as it does today? Five years.